ax squared plus bx plus c. And we call this standard form. Standard form. You should be writing this down. Quadratics also have another form that is called factored form. Factored form. And it looks like this. Y equals x minus n. Or let's do x plus n times x plus n. So there's standard form and factored form. And you have seen both of those forms. I just didn't call it that. Let me remind you. Look at these warm-up questions. What form does this look like, x plus 2 times x plus 6? What does that look like? Does it look like standard form or factored form? Factored form. What do we do when we have, well, first of all, what are these called when I have two terms? In an expression, what do we call those? Not a polynomial specifically, but a when it's two terms. Huh? Monomial? That's one term. What's two terms? That's three terms. Binomial. Good. What do we do when we have a binomial times a binomial? What do we do? What did you say? Foil it. First times first. What is first times first? X times X. What does that give us? X squared. And then what does the O stand for? Outer, outer times outer would give us what? 6X. What does the I stand for? Inner, inner times inner is? Yes. And then last times last 12. is just 12, right? No X. Good. And then what do we do? Add the, huh? Add the, like terms. add the like terms together. So I end up with X squared. Good. Okay, let's do it again. First times first in this next one. X squared. Outer times outer. Negative 3x. Inner times inner. And last times last. Good. Positive 15. And what do we do? Add like terms. So I end up with x squared when you multiply if you have debt and you huh no anybody else Negative 3 minus 5. Oh, negative 8x. Negative 8x. Plus 15. So we said the original, what we gave, what they gave us, that was factored form. What form are our answers in? Standard form, right? So you already know how to go from factored form to standard form. All you have to do is FOIL. But now what I'm going to teach you today is how to go backwards. How do we go from standard form to factored form? How am I going to take something like this and come up with the two binomials I have to multiply to get there? Okay? You see what I mean? Let's, before we start doing that, I want to look at some patterns here. So tell me, how did we get to x squared? Where did this x squared come from? Where did this first term come from? Adding two x's together? Multiplying two x's, right? It was my first term times my first term. First times first. And where did I get my 
last term from? Where did I get this 12 from or the 15 from? Exactly, it was my last term times my last term. And what about my middle term? Where did the 8x come from or the negative 8x come from? Hmm? Where did this where does the middle term come from? Just the inners? Just the inners would be 2x or negative 5x. Yeah, it's outer times outer plus the inner times the inner. Good. <coughs> So when we are factoring, the first step is to check for, what's that stand for? Greatest common, factor. greatest common factor. First check for a greatest common factor. And then once we have it in this form, we need to find two integers, two numbers that add together to get to B, add together to get to B. And that also multiply together to get to C. Multiply to get to C. Multiply. And we use those values to write our binomial factors. And then we can always check our answer by foiling. Okay, so I'm going to do numbers one and two with you. So I'm going from standard form to factored form. So that's how I like to start as I just draw. I call them my binomial skeletons. I'm just kind of like setting this up to fill in my answer. Okay, and remember my first times first is going to give me x squared. So what does my first term have to be? What times what gives you x squared? Yeah, x times x. And then remember my last times my last needs to give me 14. So what two numbers multiply together to get to 14? 2 times 7 or 1 times 14, right? Both of those work. But I need to pick the pair that I could add or subtract to get to 9. So which pair here could I use with addition or subtraction and get to 9? 2 and 7. How do I get to 9 with 2 and 7? Yeah, add a positive 2 and a positive 7, right? So those are my factors. X plus 2. X plus 7. Bless you. Right, because again, my first times first, x times x gives me x squared. My last times last gives me 14. And then my outers, 7x, and my inners, 2x, give me to 9x. Let's try it again. I have a squared plus 3a minus 18. That's in standard form. I want to write it in factored form. I have four spots to fill in. What is my first times first definitely going to be? Uh, a. a times A. Remember, my last times last has to equal what? What does last times last have to equal? Negative 18. So don't worry about the negative. Let's just write down what are our factors of 18. 118, 9, 2, 3, 4, 4, 
that's why we wrote down all those factors so you just have them available for you now which of those pairs can i use addition or subtraction and get to positive three how do you get to positive three from three and six subtract what yeah it's a positive six minus three right every single pair that we use has like four different possibilities I could use a positive six and a positive three, but that would get to nine. I don't want nine, I want three. I could use negative six and negative three, but that would get me to negative nine. That's not what I want. Or I could do negative six plus three. That's negative three, that's not what I want. I want a positive three. So I wanna use this, positive six minus three. And those are my factors, a plus six, a minus three. Does that make sense? Yeah. What questions do you have? No questions? No. All right, I'm gonna check, I want, I'm gonna check the whole thing, but I want you to work on three and four to start. Three and four are like level one, <laughs> and then it goes up. Five and six are a little tougher. There's a GCF in five and six you have to factor out first. And then seven and eight are a little bit different. Thanks for coming. Tell Miss Bain thank you too. <laughs> All right. You guys do three and four, please. Three and four.